Hello my friends, welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC North America and today I am just outside of Chicago with the incredible company Methods Machine Tools and we're going to talk a little bit about that hashtag, you know the one, women in manufacturing and I am here with the wonderful and beautiful Emily and we're going to learn a little bit more about her story in women for manufacturing as I believe you're two years into it at the moment. I sure am, yes. Well, Emily, thank you for being a part of MTD, and I look forward to hearing some of this story. Thank so, you. women in manufacturing, you are at Methods Machine Tools. You are surrounded by guys all day, every day. What's yeah. it been like? An adventure, absolute adventure. Um, awesome learning experience. These guys are amazing. As tough and as knowledgeable as they are, um, they're like big brothers to me. So anything I need, any questions I have, they are right there helping me. So that's been, it's made my transition a lot easier. So yeah. Well, you mentioned to me before we hit record on this thing, I never imagined myself being in this industry. I didn't. I was actually um, a preschool teacher for a very long time. And then I went into HR for a short period of time. Um, and then I went as a stay-at-home mom. And that was super tough. Not for me. <laughs> I definitely need to work. Um, and that's when I, I posted on Facebook, anybody looking to hire. And Jake uh, reached out and said, hey, Methods is looking. So that's how I ended up here. Never would have guessed I would have been in the machine tool industry. No kidding. Yeah. And you know, I kind of want to make the joke that being a preschool teacher and working with these guys has a lot of similarities. Super helpful. <laughs> <laughs> But also, I just kind of want to think, talk about, you know, it's been two years now. Mm -hmm. You said they're all super kind. Yes. What's the transition been like from all of those other industries, which have nothing, well, They They you really know, don't, all, yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of learning. A lot, I mean, I, you walk into a company, you don't know anything about machines or parts or anything like that. Um, but everybody has been very supportive. So, I mean, from corporate, from the parts departments to the shipping departments, everybody's just willing to kind of say, hey, this is what this means. And, and they make you feel like it's, an, it's a great question. You know, like, that's an awesome question. Keep it up. So, you know, you feel more comfortable every day you come in um, asking anything. They're helpful in every single department, so it's, it's awesome working here. Well, Emily, the reason I ask you that question, and to me this is a significant point to it. Now, maybe it's because I asked it and I feel like I have a significant point to make, <laughs> but we'll, we'll let the audience decide that. Um, the reason I bring that up is because you're in several industries that weren't really related to manufacturing. Mm -hmm. There aren't a lot of women in manufacturing. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get more women into manufacturing. And so mm -hmm. that segue from not really knowing much about it to jumping into it mm -hmm. hasn't been one of those things where it's so stressful or you wish you didn't do it. You, you really, really are enjoying your yeah. job right now, right? I honestly feel like I've found, like, I'm gonna retire here. There's no doubt in my mind. I absolutely love this company. Um, I feel like I found my niche, so oh. it's, it's really cool, yeah, they, they, they're awesome. So that's the message I want to convey, ladies. Um, women in manufacturing, we need more of you. Uh, I'm told that you're one of those positive people on the planet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for joining us in this industry as well. But I want everyone out there to realize that, yeah, there's some parts that might seem scary. If you go to a trade show right now, it is going to be about 99% men. And mm -hmm. we know we might make a bad joke from time to time. Absolutely. <laughs> we yeah, absolutely, absolutely will, yeah. right? But at the same time, I want to thank you for conveying a message that hopefully inspires a few women to join and then maybe a few more women from their inspiration and so on and so forth. So I would like to close this conversation if you don't mind and let you get back to your regularly scheduled program. I call everyone who's my next victim to get on <laughs> camera. But if you had any advice for someone considering coming into this field or even someone like yourself who never thought they'd be here but yeah. is, is here now, what kind of advice would you offer for the women out there? Oh man, you, you guys can do it. It's, it's an amazing, feeling to walk into a, a, a building of, full of men and just being able to have a conversation with them, understand what they're saying after a while, and just be patient with yourself because it'll, it'll happen. It'll start to click all of a sudden and it'll be like, oh my gosh, you know what that is. So, but it's, it's an awesome field to be in, honestly. Love it. 
Love it, love it. Thank you so much for sharing that Thank with you. us, Emily. Thank you for being a part of MTD, Thank you. sharing your story with our global audience. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs>